How's it going, Sagittarius? Welcome back. I'm so grateful you're here. For those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. Um, my name is Sam, and this is my YouTube channel. We're going to close out the month of February with a love reading. I have already randomly chosen the two people to win the love readings that I was giving away this month, so check your notifications. I did send out the messages to those two people, and I'm just waiting to hear back. I will start the March readings. Um, as soon as I get through these, and I will announce March's giveaway. All right, guys, let's get into it. Take what resonates. You know to never force anything to fit. And then always watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. There will be similarity within the messages also within your rising, your moon, and your Venus. All right, weight came out, and it didn't flip over. So wait before you take action. Wait before you reach out. Let things unfold naturally. You see all that amethyst energy within this card. So I feel some healing before some action. All right, let's see. And then there will, will be let this person take action towards you. Let the person that you're thinking about that you want to move towards, let them come towards you. Yeah, Spirit is saying it's like a, it's kind of a soft no. Like just hold off. Let them make that move towards you, and it's up to you. You're in complete control of this Sagittarius, how you're feeling, what you're, where your emotions are at, um, where your thoughts are at. You're, it's up to you. But I feel that Spirit is saying, wait and let things unfold naturally. Let that person on your mind come towards you. Let's see. Yeah, I really feel like there is no communication. Whether you were ghosted, whether there, whether there was a disagreement that led to an argument, but I feel that there is no communication as we're doing this reading. But look, see what I mean? They will take action. They will come towards you. And Spirit is telling you to hold off. I really feel both of you are going to get a chance to talk things out. Find that happiness. Ooh. Hold on, guys. My cards did something weird. Emperor in reverse. Fire energy. In reverse. We'll see if it comes back out. Someone showing up with a lack of direction. Maybe not telling you what they wanted from this connection. Maybe holding back. Alright, let's see. The chariot forward movement, cancer energy, the ace of wands. Princess of swords, even in separation, you are still looking looking at one another, um, looking at old photos that you shared, maybe watching each other on social media. You will receive that apology or that communication to spark that forgiveness on both your ends. I feel like this person is coming in very confident. So remember when Aries was in reverse, the um, emperor? I really feel someone in this connection needed to figure things out on their end. Maybe release certain burdens. Work on their self-esteem and their confidence. All right, Spirit, why the chariot and the ace of wands? the world close out those complications and maybe both of you were feeling defeated from other things that you experienced separately prior to coming together both of you still needing to sort things out whatever causes those obstacles to be able to move forward but they definitely want a brand new beginning with you ace of wands 
Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Knight of, yeah, Knight of Cups. Princess of Cups, I'm sorry, in this deck. This is a very, a very um, emotional offer they're coming towards you with. I just looked at the phone, 1111. The opportunity is coming. I feel like their focus and their dedication wants to be on you. Great spirit. And why the Princess of Swords and the Six of Wands? There's like some chaos or conflict that existed that per, like put you in opposite ends. Like it just created distance. Three of Swords. This could be, you know, drama from an ex. Um, drama from a third party. Maybe you were leaving a relationship. They were leaving a relationship. Um, a long-term connection was being left to be together. Or not to be together, but, it, you know, in meeting one another. There were, like I said, there were other things that needed to be sorted out. But that is getting done. We have air energy here. So we have air. We have Scorpio. We have Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, and then I just Divine Masculine came out in reverse, so I am going to say Aries. Knight of Swords. When this, it's almost like this person played the runner type energy and cross watchers take it out, it resonates. This may be Sagittarius's energy for you, for some of you. Where this person came in, they were very quick to exit. I'm feeling like runner type energy, but now realizing that you are a wish fulfillment. Yeah. They had to realize through this journey with you and this separation, how deep their feelings were for you. They cannot stop thinking about you. You are so sexy and confident and strong and appealing to this person. They've had googly eyes for you even from afar. But the opportunity is coming for them to contact you. All right, spirit. What advice with no and wait? What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Yeah. Yeah. Continue forward. You know, you may be doing it alone right now, but continue forward. Get through your troubled waters. Make sure you're aligning with peacer, peacer, more peaceful, harmonious, um, tranquil days within your energy so that when they approach you, you can have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, be face-to-face, -face, and both of you be in your best energies. You might be at a distance from this person, And Spirit is saying, let them come to you. I do feel a twist of fate here. Both of you are missing one another, Sagittarius. Both of you. And it really might have been this journey, them missing you, was part of their karmic payback. That just things that have happened in their life, you know, that they needed to pay back karma. And where they would have really felt it, to mo felt it the most, and it was going to be karma delivered was in losing you if that makes sense all right inner child healing continue to focus on you cross watchers continue to focus on you heal those little things within your soul that feel broken so that you can align with your person i have made excuses I have made and used excuses in order to control or sabotage our connection, but no. But now I realize the only way to heal is to mend, acknowledge, and forgive my past. Divine masculine energy showing up. Remember, Aries in reverse showed up. Someone who might have come in really like real powerful. Um was not aligning in their best energy, may have caused conflict because they didn't want to compromise. I'm working 
on my divine masculine side, I need to be more assertive, confident, and speak up for myself. I can no longer bow out of things and situations when I become fearful, but fight for what I love, and that is you. Like I said, the emperor in reverse is returning, and it's like through this journey away from you, Sagittarius, they've learned a lot about their feelings and emotions. It's now like they're running in. Critical juncture. I know now I have control of my life. No one is holding me captive and no one is controlling my circumstances. I recognize the power of my free will and I choose to be happy with you. Look at that. Angels numbers. And I did see, I was seeing 5-5 five, five here. Remember 5-5. Five, five, change is coming. Um, let's see what else we have. 5-5. Five, five. But do pay attention to the synchronicities with 5-5. Five, five. So 5-5. Five, five. Five, five, five. Six, six. Your spirit guides are sending you signs and synchronicities. I am receiving many messages about you through numbers, symbols, and images. The universe is showing me my way back to you. And then finally, difficult differences. This could be um, political. This could be religious and spiritual. This could be a distance apart from one another. But you are going to overcome these. All right. Let's see what else. Let them take action to you. That's all I keep hearing. F L B U E D O N E. And there's Lee right there. Do take what resonates, and then I will be back for the March reading. And again, like I said, I'll announce the March giveaway. Um, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. This is the last day of the sale um, for Valentine's Day, so you could still check that out and get, you know, take advantage of the sale. But following today, um, my shop will remain open and stocked for anyone who wants a personal reading. Uh, it will go on vacation mode in the middle of March sometime just so I can prepare for my vacation and make sure I get all personal readings done and out to everyone who's purchased, who's purchased them. I don't feel it's right for me to go on vacation while I have personal readings lingering. All right, love and light, guys.